Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and I am really excited about this video because right now my husband and I are planning to take our kids to the Ark and Creation Museum in Kentucky. And while we've been planning this trip, which is technically a field trip, I wanted to kind of go over some things with you guys because I have had a lot of people ask me questions about um, going to the Ark and the Creation Museum. And there's a lot of things that I think that are helpful to know before you start planning your trip. So hopefully you guys will get some good info about how to make your trip the best that it can be by using the tools that I'm gonna give you here in this video. If you haven't yet, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel because it really does help me and my family out every time you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, so I really appreciate that. And also, down below in the description box, I have a link to my pre-K lesson plans and to our free Facebook group for homeschool moms where we've been talking all about curriculum and um, about my trip to the ARC. I've been asking for help in there and there has been some, some really helpful tips and ideas in that group as well. And that is free to you. So let's go over some of the things that I have been finding out while planning this trip. So first, this is not the first time we have been to the Ark. This is gonna be our second trip. We went once in 2015 and it was my absolute favorite family trip we have ever taken and we learned so much. However, my youngest was in kindergarten and he just doesn't really remember a whole lot from it so he's been begging us to go back. So we are going to go back. So also before I get into the video, if you have a different viewpoint that is totally fine if you don't you know view the world the same way that my family and I do from a young earth creation view that's totally fine just please don't eat me up in the comments because I'm just gonna delete it anyway so I don't know go troll somewhere else please <laughs> so one of the things that I found out while planning this trip was from one of the ladies in my church and on the Creation Museum website, and I will link the websites down below in the description box for you, they have a section for events and speakers. Now, if you've never been to the Creation Museum, they have a huge stage where they do concerts, movie premieres, and they have debates on there. They do a, I wanna say it's several times a week, they have some kind of panel that goes up and they record different sessions. And you can actually sit in on these sessions and these concerts and things like that. All you have to do is go to the website that is down below in the description box and there is a whole list of speakers and events and things and you can plan your trip around those things if you want to do them or see a specific speaker. Another thing that might also be helpful to you is to know that the hotels are typically spread out around the Creation Museum and the Ark. It is really hard to get hotels near the Ark because the Ark is so far out there on this property. Um, most of the hotels are going to be centered around the Creation Museum and from what we can tell most of the hotels are around the Cincinnati Ohio area so just be aware that that's where most of the hotels are even though the Ark of the Creation Museum are on the Ohio Kentucky border so as you're planning your trip be advised on, on that and also on the Creation Museum website they have a list of hotels that that are within a good drivable distance of both attractions for you and we have actually been using that list to help us figure out which hotel we want to stay at during our trip okay so some basic tips you cannot do the ark in the museum in one day realistically i have never heard of anybody trying to do it and, and actually accomplishing this goal and one of the main reasons that is, is because they are about 45 minutes apart from each other. So Answers in Genesis owns both of these. Ken Ham is the, um, he is the creator and he has both of these things. They're both Answers in Genesis. However, they're both on two different properties. And one of the things you need to know is you need to plan out one day for each thing. The Creation Museum is, like it says, it is really a museum all about Genesis, the flood, and all kinds of information about dinosaurs and insects and 
anything that you can possibly think of is there and you do not want to rush through this thing honestly it is amazing and we really took our time and we took the whole day going through that museum and i cannot imagine trying to rush through that so we could make the trip to the ark as well so just know that you need to plan out your time wisely so you can do both attractions next one of the other reasons why you can't do both in one day is because you do actually have to be bused to the ark itself after you buy your tickets at the ark door so after you're, you're done with creation museum or say you go to the ark first whatever you get there you park your car you have to go get your tickets and after you're done you know standing in line getting your ticket stamped if you bought it online or um if you bought your if you're buying your ticket there you have to get through the line first and then you have to get on a bus and they will bus you from that ticket area you're going to be bus for at least 15 minutes or so to the actual arc site so it's not like you just get your tickets and go so you need to know that before buying your tickets just in case there is you know um, any disabilities or anything like that just be aware you will have to actually uh, buy your tickets and then be bused to the ark itself so just plan around that if you have kids and strollers and things like that next you can save money by buying joint tickets so online and there at the ark itself you can buy your tickets together and actually save a little bit of money and that's one of the ways that we actually saved a buck was we did a joint ticket thing. So you can buy, like my family has four people, so we can buy two adults um, and I actually, we might be actually two adult, four adults now, but back then we bought two adults, two kids, and we, um, we actually saved money and you can do this at the Ark or the Creation Museum itself, whatever you get to first, or you can do it online and just have it all ready to go, print it out and take it with you to the, um, to the site. If you can only do one thing, go to the Ark. So save money is tight. I know gas and hotels right now are just outrageous. And that's something that we've actually been discussing ourselves. If you can only do one attraction, I would say go to the Ark because the kids are gonna have more fun there and I think you're gonna have more fun there. Um, look at both things and decide which one you want to go to. But my kids, they were like, oh, we wanna go to the Ark if we can only do one. So if you can only do one, pick the ark and go to the creation museum next time. So Answers in Genesis teaches young earth creationism. So know that before going into it, just in case you are an old earther and you know, maybe young earther stuff just really boils your blood. I would say maybe that's not the place for you unless you wanna learn more about it. So just be aware that Answers in Genesis does teach everything from a young earth creation viewpoint. So you will learn so much just by going there and learning more about young earth creationists and scientists and all kinds of things that um, you probably didn't know. I, I know I learned so much by going there. So just be aware that it teaches from that worldview before you walk in the door and that might help you if, um, if you're coming from a different viewpoint. Discounts, they have military discounts. Things change, discounts change. So just be aware, please call and look ahead of time. They could, you know, move or change those discounts at any time. I don't work for the company. So even when you buy joint tickets together by using um, a discount up there when you purchase your tickets. However, you cannot, just be aware you have to purchase them in person to activate those discounts because um, I know especially for military you have to show your military ID so be aware of that when you are doing your research for tickets you will get the gospel when you go there which is awesome so just be advised you will get so much biblical truth when you go in there but you will also get the seven C's of creation which also goes through the entire gospel so not only are you going to get a lesson in Genesis, you're going to get a lesson in the gospel, which is a fantastic resource for everybody. All your questions about Genesis will be answered at the Ark and the Creation Museum. When I went in there the first time we walked in the doors, I had been taught Genesis from an old world view or I have been taught Genesis from a old earth viewpoint. So basically God created the world. However, there were, you know, millions of years between those days. 
and I did not know anything about Genesis really when I walked in there. I was so confused as to where the dinosaurs came in, where these Neanderthal people came in. I had no idea about anything when I walked in there. When I walked out, I knew more in those two days than I had my entire life about Genesis. And finally, it was like all the puzzle pieces in my brain clicked together. And not only was my faith strengthened, but my worldview had almost shifted in a way to where I understood all these biblical truths and how everything lined up on a timeline. So if your kids or you have questions about dinosaurs and the flood and how does this work and even the gospel itself, everything will be answered during your trip. You are going to have so much fun on this trip. I know I sure did. And one more thing I want to mention, there is a place to eat. Now these things will change as the Ark and the Creation Museum change and add things, but they have a, I wanna say it's like a buffet, cafeteria-like restaurant on the property of the Ark. So there is a place to go get a meal. We didn't eat there last time, but I heard that the food there is fantastic. So if you have some time, definitely go there. I'm gonna try to make time this next trip to go there and have a meal because I heard that they have some really good food there and I cannot wait to try it. All right guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope that it's so helpful for you as you think about planning your trip to the Ark and I am not going to be saying when we're going to the Ark. You guys will not even know until we're back home just for safety reasons. So if you guys start asking me down below when I'm going, I'm not going to answer because it is a safety issue for my family and I. However, we, because we are planning this trip, I thought it would be helpful to kind of go over these things and to show you guys how you can also plan your trip to the Ark too. So that's it. That's all I got for this video. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Happy homeschooling.